hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 18.2 rc feature if you're following me on my this channel my last video was about when we can expect to see ios 18.2 release in that video i also talk about the release of ios 18.2 rc update now there are many people who really don't update to developer beta or public beta but somehow they prefer to install the rc update because rc update is pretty much the most stable update before the release update so yeah many people are do care about this update so in this video i want to talk about what are the new features that are coming to the ios 18.2 rc update so this video is divided into two different sections in the first section i will talk about all the features that are for every other iphone that are available on every other iphone in the second section of this video i will talk about the features that are only specifically for the apple intelligence iphones that include six different iphones starting from iphone 15 pro 15 pro max and the iphone 16 lineup so let's begin this video you can also switch between the section from the timestamps if you want to so without any sort of further delay let's get a jump into this video and let's talk about with the features that are available for every other iphone so very first there is going to be a new mail application over here with a slightly up redesign you can consider it if i go to the inbox over here on the top you can see filters over here it is a primary filter then there is transaction filter then there is updates filter then at the end there is a promotion filter also when you swipe like this there is all mail application that includes mails from all filters so this is the update coming also there are different sort of profile pictures for every sort of mail as you can see but there is also way to turn of these filters so on these tapping by on these three dots list view will allow you to hide those filters and this pretty much looks like the old design if you don't like the new design well i do like the new design although i don't use apple mail much but still it's a good update okay now going to the next thing when i go over here into the control center add a control over here now there is type to siri option available so i can go to type and here it is type to siri you can add it if you want it also although i don't use siri much so yeah when you go to the settings over here now there are these dark icons that look really great these dark icons are also over here also over here pretty much everywhere and they look really really great now these dark icons also change their color if you change the tinted icons over here so let me show you if i go to the settings over here go to the customize choose the tinted version over here and if i go back to the settings now they are also white so whatever the tinted color will is um it will change the color according to that that is a nice change although i don't prefer tinted version I just like the simple the I just like the simplicity of these icons. Also, moving to the next one, when you go back to the settings over here, um go to all the way down into the apps. On the top there is default apps option available. From where you can change the default apps if you want to. You can change your email app, whatever you want to use, messaging, calling, call filtering, some other options available although for now while i'm shooting this video if i go to the messaging there is no other message app option available although i do have um whatsapp and also telegram but it is not showing over here it might come later let's see or here if i go back from here and if i go to any specific app for example if i go to the mail app over here over here there is also default mail app option available so that is a nice thing that is also over here when you go to the find my now find my is available with lost items so if you have any lost item that is with you know the tag you can able to find that item using the find my 
which is a really useful update for the people who you know just lost their items regularly also when you go to the settings over here and you go to into the sounds and haptics over here go all the way down go to the volume limit over here now there's volume limit option available if you turn this on the minimum option is 20 percent and the highest option is 90 percent and you can choose according to your choice whatever you want so that is also a nice update over here there are more changes with the photo application so now i'm gonna show you that changes okay so when you are in your photos app over here if i show you any image the image view is different from 18.1 or 18.1.1 before it was used to something like this and you need to tap on it to you know fully zoom it now it is already fully zoomed it so if there is any sort of screenshot this is how it looks like as you can see although it's a decent wallpaper and this is how it looked like so it's also a change that is available with this because i don't know that zoom one was also nice i will definitely make one more video in which i compare 18.2 and 18.1 so you guys can have a better idea also for the people in eu now they can delete apps they can even delete their app store photos whatever they want they can delete these apps um i don't know why anyone want to delete them but it is a change and it is there also when you are over here and you go to the share sheet over here there are also dark icons that is available with the 18.2 nice little change there is a slight change in the airdrop icon over here as you can see i think one or two ring are less over here but definitely there is a slight change in the air drop icon that is also coming with this update now these were all the updates all the features that are specifically available for every other iphone now i want to talk about the features that are that are for only apple intelligence iphone although i don't have apple intelligence iphone over here but i can show you the images so you can have the idea about them so let's talk about them okay so starting with the very first one there is going to a new um, app that is going to be called as um, playground image playground um, from where you can create different sort of images there are different suggestions available different categories available you can create any sort of images it goes gives decent suggestions and let you create images so you can you know use your creativity over here as you can see this one this is really cool but i always have one question why anyone want such images that i don't know where they can be useful i have no idea but still it's a decent um feature because everyone is coming up with apple intelligence so everyone is apple is also doing that now this is a really cool feature for the ai that is gen moji where you can create any sort of emoji um according to your choice for example over here the prompt is smiley relaxing wearing cucumbers and this is how the emoji looks like so now you can you know create a uh, many much relatable emojis according to your conversations this feature is really cool i wish it was available on all iphones but no it is not then there is image wand that can help you to create realistic images from sketches to realistic images in your notes or other other things this is also also for the I iphone 16 lineup there is going to be finally visual intelligence through which you can you know capture anything and get to and you can get information about that product or whatever you are capturing it shows information on the display along with that there are uh, uh, slightly improvements in chat gpt like now you can also upgrade to chat gpt plus if you want to so these things are also available and also one thing that i missed is that is available for every other iphone is the um, changes in the apple podcast so if i go to the apple podcast over here i'm sorry for that i just forget this apple podcast over here go to library now there are category option available if i go to categories now it divides all the um, um, podcasts that you are following into different categories arts business 
carriers for example if i go to the personal journal there is one that shows on the top then there are other shows that are, lie in that category and they're also recommended that's a cool little change it is also available over here when you tap on the um your profile it is also available over here by going over here you can add any to the favorite one if i tap on the music it will automatically add it to the favorites one and this is you can do this this is also a small little change that is coming with the uh, that is available with the ios 18.2 rc update well these are all the features um, I hope you like this video. If you love this video, like this video, share this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And yes, I will definitely catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.